Hello friends, welcome to another C++ interview question and the question is what is this GDB and how to use to debug your C and C++ code okay and I will explain few commands like next step continue breakpoint break trash frame and info okay so there are lots of command but these are the basic command actually I was asked this question when I was giving interview in my time actually they gave me the laptop and they wanted me to debug their code okay so maybe that is not possible in these days but still it's always good to have some extra tool in your toolbox okay so let's start now so first I will explain you this next command so first of all you need to compile your code so to compile you need to give this minus G uh, switch here okay so this is your CPP so this is how you compile if you want to debug your code okay so I will just simply compile that now how to debug that so it is very simple actually there are lots of ways I will show you one of the ways you just simply write this GDB and your compiled code or uh, you can call it uh, exe also if you are from windows okay so we'll just simply hit that now you are in gdb mode there are lots of commands so first of all you need to keep a single breakpoint in order to break your program first okay so first we'll keep this break you can break on line number like first your program will start running from this main okay so you can keep break at 21 22 23 or you can just break your program with the function name also okay so first i will break with this uh, main like m a i n break main so it will tell you that okay i am bre breaking at this line 22 okay so it will stop here when we'll hit the run okay so now you can hit the run here and your program will start running okay so it has started running and it is stopping at 22 so this is what that line is so there is another command called list l i s t uh, which short form is L only so if you, if you will press this L you will see some of your program like some part of your program okay so you, so as I told you that we are at this line right now okay if you want to check you can just simply check like uh, if you will press F it will show you where are you right now okay F stands for frame so till now you have just started your program and reached to the first line so there is another command called next so this is the first command i want to show you here so next is just enter next then you will go to second line okay so what you have done you have initialized this main variable with 10 now if you want to check how to check this main variable you can just simply say that print main variable okay and enter it will tell you that okay its value is 10 so what we have set here 10 so this print will work there are always short form for everything like for print it is p only main variable so it will just print that only okay so you know no need to write this print you can just simply type p and main variable it will print that. and again we will press next so yeah there is another uh, thing n is short form for next so if you will press next here you will get this print here okay like you wanted to print this main function sorry you wanted to print this main variable and that main variable value is 10 so that is also printed here and right now you are at 24th line like function 1 like this one okay so if you will press next here then you will reach to return 0 because next is for next line okay so if you will press next here at this location then you will directly go to return 0 okay so that we can see here just simply just see you have reached here and this function 1 was called function 1 is this one and it was assigned 15 and 15 was printed and then 20 was printed and 25 was printed so this everything is done and at last you have reached here but let's suppose you don't want it that you wanted to go inside this function 1 here okay so how we'll do that so first I will quit this program again or I can yeah quit this and I will just start this program again I could have simply started from the there only but for simplicity I will start it again so as I told we'll keep the breakpoint here so break main now we have one breakpoint now if you will run it the short form for run is r so you have run it here and you have already reached to this point so now let's say you press this next and next now don't press next here you want to go inside this function one then press step okay so this step is like you will go inside this function one okay so the short form for step is s if you will press s then you will go inside this okay so it is telling like now we are at function 1 okay and that is at 17 line this one and uh, this is the statement if you will press next you will we will execute this one okay 
so this is how it is showing so we will press next here so this is assigned 15 we, we can just simply print function 1 and variable so it will print 15 is the value for that variable what we have just simply assigned here okay so this is how you print the variable inside the functions and let's suppose you was doing lots of this checking like uh, print 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 and you forgot okay at what line my cursor is you can just simply press f and enter it will tell you i'm currently at this line okay so you can just simply press next and this line was supposed to print the value so it has print 15 now it is at function 2 so the again you will do this step you will go inside that function okay we have reached to this function 2 here okay and we have stopped here after entering into this function so like this we go inside and inside and inside so there is another command which is called backtracks okay so if you will call backtracks enter it will show from where you are coming and at what point you are currently in your program okay so you started from main then from main you called another function called f1 so here and from function 1 you called another function which is function 2 okay so you can see here function 2 you called here and right now you are at function 2 okay so again to see where are you you can just press f and enter so you are at this location you can just simply press next next and now don't press next here if you want to go inside this function then just type s okay so so now you have reached to this function 3 here okay and this is the line it is stopped so we will press next here uh, if you will pr press backtrace here then you will see that right now we are at function 3 so you will see this one see you started from main you came to function 1 function 1 called function 2 function 2 called function 3 and you are at function 3 here and line number 9 it is showing that only okay to be sure you can just print f which is nothing but the frame then it will show you okay you are at line number one and you are supposed to print this okay if you will press next it will print that see 25 is printed it was supposed to print function 3 variable which is assigned 25 here okay so till now we have seen this next step and continue okay continue is something like uh, okay i will just simply start this program again let's suppose we have started this program and if you want to see how many breakpoints you have kept you can just simply do info b it will show you how many breakpoints you have so currently you are having only one breakpoint which is this main okay this info b is nothing but information about breakpoints okay you can just simply delete also like delete one then this will delete the breakpoint number one so this is number one you can just simply delete that also so if you will do again this that info b you won't see anything no breakpoints or watch points okay so anyway we need to keep some breakpoints so that our program will stop there and we will start debugging so keep first breakpoint at main only like a break main we'll just simply run that and we'll reach to that breakpoint okay now i wanted to show you the use of continuous command here so what we'll do we know function 1 is calling function 2 function 2 is calling function 3 and function 3 is the last one okay so it's working like this you directly want to go to function 3 and function 3 is like uh, you can just simply keep the breakpoint at function 3 like b function 3 enter so it has kept breakpoint at 9 sorry 8 location so this is the starting point of your function 3 so if you will press continue now then you will directly reach to this function 3 okay no need to do this next next and step and all that you can just directly reach to this point so first we'll see where are we currently standing so press f which is nothing but frame so you are standing at 22 line so this is 22 line so you are currently at beginning so if you will press c this continue continue short form is c so if you will press c you will directly reach to this function 3 so it is telling you we are currently at function 3 and uh, this is the next statement you will be executing okay so you can just simply press next here and next so like this it is working so this next is done, step is done, continue is done, run is done, breakpoint is also done, backtrace is also done. Backtrace is nothing but currently you are at F3. How you reach to this F3? Okay. From main and function 1 and function 2 and currently you are at function 3. So this is what backtrace is. You can just trace back, see where are you and from where did you came to this location and then frame. Okay. There is something important in frame. Let's say you are at function 3. Okay. So this is number, this is your frame numbers. 
okay frame is nothing but your functions so whenever one function is called one stack is created so that is simply called frame in gdbs okay so this is one frame another frame and like this so let's suppose currently you are at function 3 but you want to check some values of function 1 here at this point only at this point you don't want to run this program again and reach to this function 1 at this point only you want to check what is the variable let's suppose this function 1 variable value at this point then you can just simply go to that frame by typing frame number like this frame number is 2 function 1 is at frame number 2 you can just simply write f2 it will tell you you are at function 1 okay and now here you can just simply print function 1 variable okay then it you will get the output if you would have printed that function 1 in frame number 0 which is nothing but your current position let's go back to the frame 0 and uh, if you will print this function 1 it will say no symbol because this symbol is local to your function 1 okay so that's why you came back to function 1 okay this is your hierarchy you came back in the hierarchy and you printed that and there is one more uh, command that, which is called info local okay so that will print all the variables of local to that stack so just simply local so it will tell you that okay function 3 variable is there and its value is 25 because currently we are at this location okay so local so this function is only this variable so i think i'm done here thanks for watching and if you like the video like and subscribe bye bye